This is your WFHR Daily News Roundup for locally grown radio 97.5 FM and 1320 AM and West Country 105.5 FM WIRI in Wisconsin Rapids. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Donald Trump is walking back what he said about Milwaukee being a horrible city. Punchbowl News reports Trump made the remark to U.S. House Republicans yesterday. Trump tells Fox News he was referring to crime and unproven accusations of election fraud. Trump says he loves Milwaukee. Jill Biden says her husband, the president, made the Affordable Care Act and Medicaid stronger. The First Lady says the rate of uninsured Americans is lower than ever. He kept insulin at $35 per month for seniors. For the first time in history, he made sure Medicare can negotiate drug prices directly, something that presidents have been trying to do for decades. Mrs. Biden campaigning in Green Bay yesterday. Police officers who defended the U.S. Capitol on January 6th are campaigning for President Biden. Former Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn called Donald Trump, quote, the single greatest threat to the United States of America in a generation. Dunn and others held a press conference in Madison yesterday. The former commander of Volk Field is asking Governor Evers to investigate how Adjutant General David May handled her termination. Leslie Zizda Martin was cleared in four internal investigations into alleged misconduct. Current and former Guard members tell Wisconsin Watch that May and other leaders broke National Guard policies. Opinions in Wisconsin are split over the U.S. Supreme Court decision to throw out a case challenging the legality of the medical abortion drug Mifepristone. Abortion rights supporters say it's a win for women. Abortion opponents say they'll keep fighting efforts to make the drug more available. Half of all Americans hold down working-class jobs, but that's only true for less than 2% of all state lawmakers across the country. Researcher Nicholas Karn says middle-income earners are priced out of public service. This is an unintended side effect of just how burdensome it is to run for office. And so we need to think about targeted interventions that will make running for office more accessible to working-class people. The study comes from Duke and Loyola Chicago Universities. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WFHR and WIRI News, I'm Brittany Merlot. A sergeant with the Clark County Sheriff's Office has been arrested on child enticement charges. After a search was conducted, the investigation led to the arrest on Wednesday for sexual exploitation of a child, child enticement, threats to injure or accuse of a crime, and threats to communicate derogatory information. The suspect was released on a $2,500 cash bond along with a $10,000 signature bond. The Taylor County Sheriff says that the name of the sergeant is being withheld pending further investigation. It's been 18 years since Deidre Harm went missing from downtown Wisconsin Rapids. Her remains were found months later in the town of Seneca, in the area known as Blueberry Ridge. The investigation of the 21-year-old's death continues to this day. Anyone has any information on this case, please contact the police. They are especially interested in info on Chris Revick's involvement in the homicide. Revick was in the Rapids area at the time that she went missing. He was also seen talking with her in a tavern, and that was the last place that she was seen alive. Family members also say Revick was acting suspicious when he returned way past the bar close. He admitted to coming back from Blueberry Ridge and abruptly left and headed back to Missouri. But before leaving, he changed his appearance. He was later arrested in Missouri for second-degree murder and killed himself the next day in the Douglas County, Missouri jail. We know social media and so much time in front of screens can have negative effects on mental health, especially for young people. But a new study from UW-Madison shows that adolescents get a mood boost from it. Researchers set out to look at short-term effects of smartphone use by teens. And whether they're texting, watching videos, or playing games, young people were a little happier. Researchers say teens got the biggest boost while listening to music, podcasts, or audiobooks. And the first annual Food Truck and Fly-In Festival is on Saturday. Starting at 9 a.m. at the Adams County Airport, you can indulge in a day of delicious eats and high-flying fun. They'll have over 20 food trucks, vendor booths, live music, a petting zoo, and you can meet Gussie the Clown. They'll even have helicopter rides and a chance to get creative chalking up the runway. 
and the 27th annual June Dairy Breakfast with Marshfield FFA alumni and supporters will be Sunday from 7 a.m. to noon. It's at C. Hafer's City View Dairy, located on Galvin Avenue. They'll have the option of buttermilk, blueberry, or potato pancakes with real maple syrup, as well as sausage, applesauce, cheese curds, ice cream sundaes, and so much more. It's officially summer in less than a week but things are really heating up as soon as Sunday. If you're in need of an air conditioner, portable units can be installed yourself or with help of a hire. Installers recommend that if you do it on your own, use your knees to lift, not your back, and also make sure that it's plugged into an outlet rated for the unit. And the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is reminding us to wear a life jacket if we plan to spend the weekend out on the water. 28 boating fatalities happened last year to people not wearing a life jacket. And as we're approaching the colorful holiday of fireworks, known as the 4th of July, please remember to be courteous when lighting them off. Not only do our pets experience stress with the loud booms, but so do our veterans. Many of our neighbors have gone to combat and have PTSD after putting their lives on the line for our freedom. And that's what you need to know. I'm Brittany Merlot. It's the Brewers and the Reds. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Brewers take on the Cincinnati Reds tonight at AmFam Field. Freddie Peralta on the mound for the crew. Milwaukee in first place, six and a half games ahead of St. Louis. High school baseball, the De Pere Redbirds defeated Sun Prairie East 5-1 to one to win their first ever Division I state championship held at Fox City Stadium near Appleton. Senior Landon Rago was the winning pitcher. Oh, it's amazing. You know, it's a dream being able to play in this game. And for me, being able to pitch the whole game, it's amazing. NFL, the Packers have signed their number one draft pick, Jordan Morgan. Who everybody's friendly, everybody wants to help out. A lot of the veterans want to help out. Uh, they give you pointers, they talk to you about film and on-field stuff, and I feel like that's important for rookies as well. That now means all 11 players from this year's draft class are under contract. Game four of the NBA Finals is tonight in Dallas. The Mavericks host the Celtics, who are up three games to nothing, and with a win, could clinch their first NBA title since 2008 when Doc Rivers was the head coach. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Imagine being a successful actor in a hit movie, but driving a car so crappy that it breaks down in front of a billboard with your face on it. This is exactly what happened to Blair Witch Project actor Heather Donahue. Lionsgate is getting ready to revive the cult classic, which is one of the highest grossing independent films ever made. Donahue and co-stars Joshua Leonard and Michael C. Williams are complaining that they have not been properly compensated for the film that has made $250 bucks and only cost 35000 to make. The acting trio says the studio still uses their names and likenesses. The directors and producers of Blair Witch blame Lionsgate, saying they are the ones who should step up and settle the dispute with the actors. Donahue said she had a revelation years ago when the film passed $100 million at the box office, and she and her two co-stars were sent a fruit basket by Lionsgate. The actors did not disclose exactly what kind of fruit was in the basket, or if it was even in season. S.M.H. Actor John Goodman says he is not as motivated to work as he was in his younger days. He told Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean Hayes on the Smartless podcast that he tried to overcome his recent lack of motivation by working too much and nearly caused himself to have a nervous breakdown. The 71-year-old Goodman has been sober now for 16 years and recently lost 200 pounds, looking more like actor Aaron Eckhart. No booze since 2008 and no bad food for 200 pounds? How crabby is John Goodman right now? Andrew McCarthy hated the phrase Brat Pack. In his new documentary, he confronts the writer David Blum, who coined the phrase, finally putting to rest something no one has ever cared about except Andrew McCarthy. The Brat Packer insinuated Blum's article more or less branded his career. Blum admitted his condescending attitude toward the young actors was not very nice, but stands by it. Sources have not disclosed who McCarthy blames for his role in Weekend at Bernie's. Here's one of Pete's picks. If you like crime and legal dramas, check out the reboot of Presumed Innocent starring Jake Gyllenhaal. The show is based on the book of the same title by Scott Turow, which was turned into a 1990 movie starring Harrison Ford. The show is written and executive produced by David Kelly. Gyllenhaal plays Deputy District Attorney Rusty Savage, who is accused of killing a co-worker. The first two episodes of Presumed Innocent dropped June 12th on Apple TV, and new episodes will air on Wednesday nights. Actress Kate Winslet recently spoke to Vanity Fair about how awkward and uncomfortable some of her scenes with Leo DiCaprio were in Titanic. Winslet says she constantly had to redo her makeup between takes because of the kisses with DiCaprio. Winslet added that it wasn't just the makeup issues, but that her costume in the film was very uncomfortable throughout shooting. Making it even worse is that she was only paid $2 million for the gig. We all have a cross to bear. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network.
With your forecast, I'm Corey Hartman. For today, look for sunny skies and highs around 76. Mostly clear tonight, lows around 51. Clouds for Saturday and back to the mid-70s. Breezy with a chance of showers. Some of those showers could be heavy, a low around 59. For Sunday, scattered storms in 83. Currently 66 degrees. That's your WFHR and WIRI Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WFHR.com or Wiscountry. That's W-I-S-Country.com.